Welcome to our lecture online. Now, how do you simplify these? Well, there's a, a few tricks up our sleeves. First of all, when the numbers are small, you can probably think of all the combinations that make up the number 12. For example, 3 times 4 equals 12, or 2 times 6 equals 12. And notice, 4, you can actually take the square root of 4. So this would be the preferred way of writing 12. So this can be written as the square root of 3 times 4, which is equal to the square root of 3 times the square root of 4. And of course, the square root of 4 is equal to 2. So this can be written as 2 times the square root of 3. So when the numbers are small, you simply look at all the combinations and then look for one of the factors that you can take the square root of in this case. When you see something like this, you say, well, this can be rewritten as the cube root of 10 times 27 because it's ending a zero. So go ahead and factor out a 10, so to speak, and then you realize that this is equal to the cube root of 10 times the cube root of 27. And then you have to recognize that, yes, you can take the cube root of 27, that's equal to 3, because 3 times 3 times 3 equals 27. So this can be written as the cube root of 10 times 3, or write the 3 first, 3 times the cube root of 10 as the most simplified form of that radical. And then we have something like 245 inside the square root. That ends in a 5. So you can say, OK, that means if I factor out a 5, this can be written as the square root of 49 times 5. 5 times 40 is 200. 5 times 9 is 45. 200 plus 45 is 245. Again, you can say that 49 times 5 is equal to 200 plus 45, which is equal to 245 by multiplying 5 times 40 and 5 times 9. And so that means that this can be written as the square root of 49 times 5. And of course, that can then be written as the square root of 49 times the square root of 5. And the square root of 49 is equal to 7, so 7 times the square root of 5. So the key is, if it ends in a 5, try to factor out a 5. If it ends in a 10, try to factor out a 10. If it's a small number, look for the combinations that can that multiply to get that number, and then look for something where you have something like 2 squared or 3 squared or 4 squared, so you can take the square root of that. If the numbers are bigger and you can't use any of these rules, then, well, stay tuned. We'll show you some examples of what that might look like on the next video, and that is how it's done.